you, Chuck. We know who the real MVP of that game was. Now we'll go over to Clinton. The Arrows hosting Germantown, rocking some new black jerseys. And man, the silver pants, those are fresh. Tim Schrammick rolling the dice early. Connor McKay with the beautiful onside kick. It's recovered by David Williams. The Mavs run some clock and hit a field goal to take an early lead, but then here comes Clinton. Akers to Reginald Landing. He's pushed out at the one. Now two plays later, Cam Akers, grown man strength here. Carries a couple Mavs into the end zone with him, and Clinton back on top. A second quarter, the sun sets on Arrow Field, and Cam White off the pitch from Akers, hurdles a man on third and short. Later in the drive, Akers, easy call here to keep it himself. Outruns one, two, three, four, five defenders on the play. Stiff arms the last one and glides in for six. Clinton up three scores now. Next arrow possession. He's, he's not just running the rock tonight with the arm up top to Jordan Patton. The senior corrals and Clinton is rolling 21-3 at that point. And one more time to end the half. And honestly, folks, it's Cam Akers football world. The rest of us are just lucky that he lets us live. Arrows cruise in the second half and win it 42-10. They'll get a bye before opening district play in two weeks. A Northwest Rankin hosting Ridgeland. Cougars looking to start 4-0. The Titans still in search of their first victory. Opening drive for Northwest Rankin. Quarterback Braden Smith doesn't see Mylon Wallace. Patrol in the middle of the field. But the Titan linebacker comes up with the interception. But no such mistake on the second Cougar drive. Cameron Carroll shakes a tackle in the backfield. Gets around the left edge and dives to the pylon. Yes, sir. 7-0 Northwest Rankin. Still first quarter. Smith looking to make a play with his legs. Takes off up the middle and across midfield he goes. But credit A.J. Stevens here with the forced fumble and Lenico Boston on the recovery. Ryan Ernest likes it. Ridgeland defense forcing turnovers. Four things slip away in the second quarter inside the five. The handoff to D. Baker for the Cougars. Spin move before plowing his way into the end zone. The Cougars claw their way to a 37-14 victory after our cameras left. Now Northwest Rankin's next opponent, the Brandon Bulldogs on the road facing Tupelo. The Dogs hoping to bounce back after last week's loss to now top-ranked Clinton. And early on, that blue turf there, Brady Anderson finds Bo Watley. He'll pick up a few yards, but brought down by Diesel Howell and Jet Johnson. Tupelo will motor in front later. Steven McLawn punches it in. The Golden Wave take a 7-0 lead. And a defensive struggle tonight, Ricky Myers and Milton Bronson with a stop for Brandon. But Tupelo, though, later in the game would pull off the upset. They take it 14-13 to 13 in the final.